Hi, my name's Leila Saeed and I'm the Social Inclusion and Engagement Lead for the Step Forward Service at Mersey Care. I'm here to talk about why I joined the BAME Network. The BAME Network has been a support for me during the pandemic. It's provided me with the support as I needed during the pandemic to get through. It's been a really, really, really excellent support in terms of you know, my colleagues being supportive. Um, what about you, Fatima? Hi, my name is Fatima Sherifali and I'm a safeguarding secretary. The network was essential lifeline during the time of COVID and during the times with everything was confusion. Obviously, I joined the network before the pandemic and at that time, a lot of network had been set up through the, the trust. So the network was one of the staff network is there available to support the staff, not, it's the staff but obviously this is one specific for people from ethnic minority staff or from ethnic minorities who have any issues or if they face inequalities or to just promote it and encourage them to take this step further, further in their careers and uh, it's not only for corporate stuff there is this support and camaraderie and we have a laugh we join together we enjoy our meetings and like for example one meeting one of the ladies brought a box of tangerines because you have extra tangerines in the garden decided to share it with us it was delicious yeah. nice. fantastic what i got out the network is i've met some lovely people um and we've become friends and also i've been able to access opportunities through the network that i probably hadn't probably considered the network encourages us to develop uh, professionally so I've been able to go on a leadership course I've also accessed some action learning sets and also some coaching and I guess yeah they've really helped me develop in my confidence and also in my career yeah. I agree with you about the courses. I did the coaching training and it was brilliant and I participated in coaching so I got a one-to-one -one coaching and it was very helpful and it helped me in a time where I was so confused about what I want to do next for my future and uh, I mean as a result of that now I started I mean with the support of the trust actually uh, I do, I'm doing an apprenticeship degree to mm. become a, a manager so uh, I wouldn't dream when I started a couple of years ago I would get to this level or I able to do that so it boosted my confidence it helped me and because the trust had itself as I think uh, other as other many trust groups they have an ally so we have a lot of trust allies so the fact is we have we not only been listened to each other but we've been listened to up by the management and that support was very valuable to boost our morals to boost our you know to, to know that there's somebody we, what we feel is valid and what we yeah, it's something can be done about it yeah absolutely. and it was just brilliant and you go to this room what do you work in a daily in your daily job with a boost in your step absolutely and we have some fantastic events so yeah, we have black history month but also we learn about other cultures because we're not grouped together as BAME and we're not homogenous at yeah, all yeah. we learn about other cultures as well which and is absolutely fantastic we're doing work with uh, the women group we're doing yeah. work with LGBT groups we do uh, we do a lot of because a lot of our um, what they call core path ethics and ideas are cross it's all about shared purposes, it's shared yeah. purposes yeah. it's all about equality it's all about uh, equal opportunities about celebrating each other yeah. so it's absolutely fantastic because you lean and then you you meeting people in other but because the trust is massive you don't have the opportunity if you other trusts are geographically built but we're not geographically we're like spread in a different yeah. side so in these meetings you meet people from other divisions mm -hmm. and other department and you're learning from each other yeah, like you know, and it's, it's just such a big organization it's such a big organization it is, it is inclusive yeah, yeah yeah and because now we have more staff coming from like northwest boroughs yeah we actually now we work into amalgamate us with us and just welcome them and it's just fantastic work and it's just growing and growing mm -hmm. and we've been having successes and it just it warms your heart yeah it warms your heart and it, it's one of the things that i love about still working with women yeah absolutely Second. i started working for the public services about 30 years ago and everywhere I worked, if there was a, B a BAME staff network, a BME staff network I used to be called, I always ma made sure that I joined them. And if there wasn't one, I did everything I could do to create one. And sometimes we were, you know, uh, successful and we had a lot of members and sometimes we weren't uh, as successful. But it never ever actually dampened my desire 
to be part of this uh, network and you might ask, ask yourself why you know I believe in fairness equality and inclusiveness in the workplace in the BAME staff network we work proactively to address and campaign around race discrimination its causes and the consequences I really believe in a strong effective BAME staff network uh, in an organization with a diverse workforce as such as uh, Mezike uh, uh, would help the organization to achieve their goals better. Um, it makes the organization look more progressive and I think that a lot of talented people they would like to work with such a, for such an organization. And also I really want to be part of the network because it belongs to me. It's my network. It's our network. And I think that you know there is affinity there. We share the same sort of experiences, we witness the same sort of experience in regard to issues around our colour, race, religion. Finally, what I would like to say is sometimes we get disillusioned. Sometimes we think that we haven't achieved much. And sometimes we think that we're talking about the same thing. After 30 years being in this network, trust me, I can tell you that we have achieved and we are progressing. And one of the reasons that we are progressing is because we are more diverse. Every day we are more people from all different colors and religions coming to the uh, NHS to work. Um, and finally, I would like to say that together, united, we are stronger. I like to stress that uh, a BAME staff network on its, not, on its own would not be successful. We need strong allies. And one of our strongest allies in Mexico is Dr. Jules Carlyle. I would like to introduce her to you. It's been a real privilege to be taken into the BAME network. Um, it's not the vision of the journey that I had at the very beginning of uh, the work that I started in the pandemic. But uh, it was work that was so supported by the Trust and we had our de Executive Director of um, Workforce, Amanda Oz, directly ask you to do this piece of work. Can you tell us a bit more about that piece of work and how that's um, useful to the Trust? I think in the, in the middle of last year when um, the NHS started to realise uh, how COVID was disproportionately affecting our BAME colleagues, mm -hmm. our staff and patients, and also with the uh, murder of George Floyd, there became a real um, appetite to be different amongst uh, white colleagues as well, it's about mm -hmm. paying attention. And uh, Amanda Oates and I had had a very tender conversation about how painful it was to watch our, um, our colleagues go through some uh, emotional difficulty. Mm -hmm. And that actually we needed to step up and do things differently. And she kind of commissioned uh, some action learning sets to think about what it is that the trust needed to, to do. And one of those more difficult things was uh, self-awareness to understand privilege, to really embrace talking to white people about race was the most challenging aspect um, because that makes people feel really uncomfortable. That's right and part of the support of the network of wanting allies is to have these conversations that are really difficult but to normalize them so that we can embrace what the, what, what's the pressures are for BAME staff and BAME service users and where people can really feel like they are heard the concerns are listened to and, and addressed. Yes, yeah. definitely. I think the challenge as well being um, being a white member of staff was to ask for representation around the table. Mm. So I attend, as a senior member of staff, I attend a lot of meetings and to draw attention to the lack of representation um, was a challenge. I think that had I not been senior, had I been younger uh, in my career, that would have been a more difficult ask. Um, and to kind of tolerate other people's uncomfortableness as their awareness uh, is aroused about what is missing what in terms of diversity in the, a range of kind of professional issues. So we've developed um, some action learning sets which are really about setting the context uh, and setting the expectation for these conversations to be had to be able to um, foster psychological safety for everybody because this is a really difficult piece of work because people are uncomfortable from all angles uh, whether you're white uh, and, and British in heritage or of any other diverse heritage 
be talk, the dis discussions about race can be really difficult. Oh yeah. So people might want to hide um, and avoid it. Uh, and that avoidance has probably kept the status quo going for a long time. That's, you know what, that's true for BAME staff as well. Yeah. Just to raise those kinds of issues as a staff member for, for yourself yeah. and for your colleagues. Yeah. And this is definitely one of the reasons why the BAME staff network exists. So we can have a think about this and support each other. Yeah. And, and as well just bring that support to the wider trust as well. The, the journey's only just begun. Uh, mm -hmm. particularly in terms of allyship and what we can do differently. It's provoking a lot of conversations and thoughts about um, teaching and education and learning experiences for trainee psychologists, social workers and nurses, um, about making uh, diversity and difference uh, a, a, a broader part of our understanding about the healthcare system uh, and the impact of uh, social injustice. Mm. About our, in our patient groups, so this is this allyship for everybody to get involved in. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>